Ecco, ad esempio, possiamo scegliere se darlo a lui. If the iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. Mm. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantapillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. Hmm. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. Perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. Oh, uh, how do these things ever start? Once upon a time, Graham and I saw the same problems with MSI. A rigid corporate structure with no regard for its people. But where I wanted to reform MSI, he only wanted to take it apart. As if starving in the wilderness is somehow better than starving under corporate mismanagement. He won't hear reason now, and I wouldn't trust him again. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Hmm. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Ok scusate ma praticamente è mancata la corrente quindi non so se riuscivo a incastrare le due parti bene Dio santo Bello quando ti si stacca la play così di colpo Ok vediamo di riuscire a strapolare una riunione Something on your mind captain? Too bad Had I a reliable third party I could trust to set up a meet Maybe I'd consider it With all the help you've done here, at first I thought it could have been you. But I can't trust you to think logically. Your priorities are skewed a bit too much like Graham's. For all I know, Sanjar's playing you to get to us and you can't see it. So no, in another life, maybe that could have worked out for all of us. In this one, we're going to war. Puta. Nice day, huh? The monarch, anyway. Ma vai a cagare, allora che, che tu possa marcire e crepare come una merda. Mm. Graham che dice? Per sapere. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? No. Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. Mm. Why wouldn't they? As we speak, our message assaults their populace through their favorite entertainment media. Ok, allora che sia guerra, lo do a loro direttamente, si impicchino gli altri. Any luck bringing the iconoclast to the bargaining table? No. I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Uh Ooh, that's very good. I wish I could help, but I've never been very good at making presentations. I uh... Oh, I could work on a brief if you think it would help your case. <laughs> Excellent. I'll get to it straight away. It'll be a few weeks before it's ready, but one can't put a price on quality work. <laughs> I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. <laughs> um Quindi devo andare dagli altri, no? 
E oh raga questo non, mi, non va Cioè non va nel senso non Non vogliono collaborare Io lo do a loro o lo do agli altri Però il burocrate mi sta più simpatico sinceramente Fanculo lo do a lui Tanto ma non vogliono collaborare No non vogliono I don't collaborare like the idea. Well because the module controls the weapon systems Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. Hmm. The point is, this weapon system would be a powerful advantage, and we can't risk the Iconoclast getting it. Don't worry, we'll send an engineering team for those later. We'll have to disconnect them from the rest of the ship. Of course, they'll be useless without that targeting module, which is why it's critical that you retrieve it. <laughs> which is also why we can't let the Iconoclast get them. Mm. The board's own salvage and recovery clause 32B would say differently. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. Mm. Can you imagine what those maniacs would do with weapons like that? They'd wreak havoc. And roll back all the progress we've made at reconciling with the rest of Halcyon. Uh. Even if they merely sat on the scraps, the threat of a bunch of anarchists holding a gunship would bring the full wrath of the board down on Monarch. We can't afford that. Okay. Good, because we haven't a moment to lose. Ascoltato. Well, aren't you unpredictable? It lends you a certain air of mystery. It's quite magnetic. I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. <laughs> it looks like the iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. Ooh, I just got goose. <laughs> really know how to sell that, don't you? <laughs> you could, uh, teach me how you do that. Oh, yeah, dear. Sir, I doubt this is the time. Right. I'll lock the south gate to keep them out. You'll have to approach from the north. Good luck. <laughs> Questo è simpaticissimo, lui. Eh, vabbè, oh, se la sono cercato. Io ho proposto la pace, ho cercato, ma non c'era, per esempio, neanche un'opzione. Che magari devo sfruttare che so il mio, la mia persuasione il mio carattere niente per riuscire ad ottenere la tregua quindi forse potrei aver sbagliato anche qualcosa io magari eh, durante lo svolgimento della storia potevo fare delle scelte differenti che avrebbero portato appunto a, ad una tregua però vabbè ok però per vero ma dove dobbiamo andare? Ah, di là. Madonna che pirlone. La reputazione è diminuita, eh, sti cazzi. Non dovevano mettersi contro di me. Non avrebbero dovuto. Oh. Bene. Scacciamoli. Sono loro i guerra fondai comunque, ok. Allora, massacro. <ride> Sono loro che hanno attaccato. Ma non sto prendendo nel culo. Too much power. Lasciate i miei amici. Uh, bello questo. <ride> che fortissimo. Il liberatore meccanico farà una bruttissima fine. Ok. 
Oops. Da notare che praticamente non mi fanno manco danno. Cioè, me ne fanno proprio oh, due. E sono un po' troppi, eh. Adoro sto mitro. No, con la merda di cui stavo parlando prima. No, oh, quanto è bello. Ti permette anche di. Ti permette anche di uccidere i personaggi principali. Praticamente. Aspetta, muovi un po'. Carica pivone. Prima di minimo i pezzi. I pezzi piccoli, sì. I pesci piccoli che tanto rompono le palle. E drenano la vita via. Come ci chiudono le altre merde? Di, niente di che vabbè. Mongola. Tu. Ecco, finito. È stato soddisfacente in realtà. Molto soddisfacente. Praticamente avevo distrutto <ride> un'intera fazione. E alla base probabilmente non ci sarà più nessuno. O gli ultimi che ci sono li faccio fuori tranquillamente. E libero quella zona. Ah che soddisfazione, ci, ci stava, ci stava. Voglio vedere quanto sarà felice Sanjar di questa notizia. Guardalo. Guardalo! <ride> Dice mezzo fa. Perché non parla? Ah. And in one piece. Does this mean you? I, I mean we won? Esatto. We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it. Not that I'm really surprised, but well, maybe a little. You did it! I mean, we did it! Uh... Oh, I certainly will. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. And perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. You really mean that? That's the nicest. Celia, <laughs> put that down in today's minutes. <laughs> really can, sir. Anyhow, thank you. And good luck to you. What can I do for I got to... uh. Quite well, actually. It's astounding how much our quality of life has improved without Graham's lunatics breathing down <laughs> our necks. <laughs> Our residents are reporting increased productivity during their shifts and improved satisfaction in their leisure time. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to. Bene. È andato tutto, tutto bene è andato, vedete? Eh? <ride> oh mio dio. Allora, praticamente nella nostra prossima missione... Ma che cazzo se ne frega? L'ultima missione che dobbiamo fare, cioè non è l'ultima che diavolo dico, l'ultima che ci è stata affidata Si svolge sempre qui, ma in una piattaforma ad atterraggio differente Che non c'era prima Non so anche i pianeti, alcuni pianeti sono ancora We're bloccati Yeah! Oh, che palle che vuoi Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do Eh, cosa? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Uh... Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too. Ma che palle. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Che simpaticona. 
You're the boss. Anything else? Ci nient'altro? Ma caga. Allora. Cosa sarebbe la piattaforma di atterraggio del porto di Bisanzio? Boh. Chi diavolo è questo? O questa? Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Quello sono io. <ride> I oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you. <ride> yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. Uh. Uh. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. E questo look da John Lennon ci mette anche. Uh... Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Mm. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Ok. <ride> ah, no, no. La scienza, vedete, è bloccato. Cacchio. When the birds start disappearing, you know something's a foul. No pun intended. Oh, ci sono mai lì. Come on, this is important. <ride> I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon. And all the things we don't see. For starters... You rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though he <clears throat> ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. Ma che cazzo ve ne frega? È una vera tragedia. Management put up an out of order sign. But that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it. Never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Ma che cazzo? I don't know how else people are supposed to complain about things they can't change, but that's not the point. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Eh, finalmente. Ah, cagare. Oh, Gesù. Ehm... <laughs> Io metto questo. Vabbè, metto questo. Tanto più o meno dovrò fare tutti. Ok, da questa parte devo salire usando l'ascensore. Allora, di là c'è il ministro Clark. Qua c'è la guardia del ministro. No. Non voglio diventare famoso. Comunque mm. è spettacolare, sono molto. sono vari i pianeti, eh. Cioè la varietà, voglio dire, non si assomigliano comunque. Perché lì c'è il ministro Clark. Ma io in acqua mi ci posso buttare o io? Oddio. Non ho mai provato a nuotare, ho paura. Ah, mi spezza solo le gambe. Ok, qua è bassa l'acqua. Aspettate, però mi, mi manca praticamente qua il documento di identità che mi servirebbe in realtà. Il documento di, di identità è importante. Perché un conto è fare irruzione. Un conto è avere un documento di identità per fregarli. 
Allora ragazzi innanzitutto qua c'è un'altra bella cassa che aspetta solo di essere spolpata Ma non ci conviene fare irruzione perché non abbiamo il documento di identità Che praticamente serve il documento di identità In sostanza è quella roba che mh, vi ricordate già all'inizio del gioco praticamente ci avevano dato il dispositivo di occultamento Che altro non è che praticamente ci dà un'identità un ma dobbiamo avere la cartuccia giusta che ci dà l'identità Quindi ora andiamo a prenderla qui Probabilmente la possiamo prendere dalla guardia del ministro Uh bene 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 siamo arrivati Eccolo Questa è la guardia Hey Hey Stand back You I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail And that means you Gotta keep five feet back Of course not. <laughs> But I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's <clears throat> estate. My own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> They don't give those out to just anyone. <laughs> That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all, it's all very high level. Mm. Oh, um, he's a uh, <laughs> medium height with like. Medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. <laughs> Just like in his posters. <laughs> oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. Mm. That's a great idea. I'll have a spectrum vodka. Here's to me. <laughs> Hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, <laughs> listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Okay. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Hmm. <laughs> you sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Another one. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple very crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh. Eh, però cammina normale, eh? cioè questa cosa la potrò correggere, dovrebbe al minimo sbalonzolare, che ne so. E la madonna che è morto. Ok, abbiamo praticamente la tessera. Bene così. Ecco, potete notare come adesso cammino lento, vedete? Guardate a fianco alla barra rossa C'è un, Il simbolo del peso Vuol dire che ho troppo peso addosso Devo buttare qualcosa Ok ci siamo liberati un po' di spazio Ora possiamo Continuare Dovremmo riuscire ad accedere senza nessun problema In realtà no Non ne sono sicuro Questa proprietà è off limits Solicitors, loiterers e uninvited visitors Will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Oh, beh, grazie. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. 
Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? <laughs> Attack a mort. Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? Ma che palle. Bene, fatti un giro. Io scassino qui. Vediamo, vediamo, vediamo. Poi c'è anche robetta da prendere. Oh, quanta bella robina. Guarda che bella robina. No, non c'è altro. Qua munizione, va bene, niente di che. Però c'è la scala qua. Andiamo qua. Cartuccia, vabbè, dai, non è che. Qua c'è qualcosa di più sostanziale, però. Tutto mio. Allora, vediamo. Pezzo di idiota. Con un'arma in mano, ha capito? Mi fanno vedere il ministro. Uh, siamo dentro. Siamo in ballo. Ministro lo. How did you get in here? Ciao bello. You. You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Quello che voglio testa di microfono. Radio wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the parlance uh. goes. I'm not doing any more. Cattivone. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? <laughs> I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. Mm. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course, it's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Mm. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Bene. After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. <laughs> Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Mm. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. <laughs> the board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. <laughs> I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer <laughs> than a few pages around here. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, Sustainability reports and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. 
Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Ok ragazzi, spazio qua Let's Plays, in caso il video non sia abbastanza corposo, ci becchiamo con un'altra parte che da qui, cioè riprenderò esattamente da qui. Ciao a tutti.